Hey everybody, it's Neon if you're a network amateur or professional. Um, this thing here would be good for you. It's the Chisholm and it is a, uh, um, a kit to make your own wires. So you can adjust the wires or whatever you need. I'll show you everything you get with it. So let's stick it up here in my roof for a second. So we have a network cable tester. So once you've made your uh, connections and stuff, you'll be able to run this thing through. Uh, and the way it works is you put your wires in here for your uh, one wire and then the other one goes in this side here. Oh, it's like it will also do uh, the, whatever that's called, cat, uh, RJ11, you know, phone wires. But you have your cat five in there, cat five in there, and then you can watch the lights. They should all synchronize as they work their way down. And if they are all lit up and working their way down, you're in a good position. I guess I don't have any batteries in there now, so I'm gonna to fill this up with batteries and uh, yeah. That's how that works. So if you haven't used the table tester, super simple to use. So also in here we get a I'll put that on my card, skip the mini. So we have a few different pieces of parts to make it work. We have our little cable stripper here. So this is good for cutting the little wires. You can stick the right size wire into the hole here, spin it around, you know, and um, and it'll cut the, the wire and then you can strip it with that and everything. Big little wire strippers and cutters. We have the device here, which is heavy duty, man. This one here's heavy. This is the heaviest one I've seen of these, man. So let's see what do we got. Oh, we got a couple of extra razor blades too for this one here. So it comes with a cutter. So you can cut the big uh, barrel of the Cat 6 or Cat 5 wires with that. We have the uh, crimper and let's see, we have a, a lock. How do we do this here? Hmm. Oh, push button lock. So we have the little lock here. Push the push it in here to lock it in place. Open it up there to open it. And you can see when I push it down, the little nub comes out in here for the RJ11 and here for the RJ45 ones. And you see it, it's going to squish, you know, to crimp it in there and actually cut the wire on the other side too. So it's kind of it does everything you need. So you can just kind of have it all ready to go on that. And then there are this strippers here and cutters and stuff like that so you just slice a wire there strip a wire there so that, that other piece is a stripper as well it comes with our it comes with all the, the little ends and then the little uh insulators for it so i'll show you i'll just take one of these out and kind of show you how it will function so you'll line up all your wires in there in the correct color and it has the little things in there and then the wires will go pretty much all the way into it and through the other side. So you can do that. Then you stick your uh, thing in here, and the wires will be coming out the, the back end here and they'll be lined up in there. And then when you push this in, it's going to push that in there and do that. And it's gonna crimp it and put it everything in there and you'll have your end on it. Actually, I'll do that. go ahead and do this one here just so you can see how it works. So it is pushed in there now and you see that part pushed down so everything kind of squished into it and now i will have myself a full wire here because it pushed down the plastic into it so i can't use it anymore um, because it pushed it down to crimp it but so that's kind of how it's going to be how it works and so pretty cool a nice little device here and it's heavy duty this one here is going to last because it is solid man and so it's nice the other ones i had i guess they were just more plasticky this one here is good i like it so just can't lock it closed with that little piece in there. I was gonna to try to leave it in there just because, um, so I know it's the used one, but I'll just put it in the garbage. But there we go. So there, now it's locked in place again and I'm good to go. So I really like this crimper, very nice. Thumbs up for sure.